My name is Stephen, USSR Robinson, and thank you for watching Sport Icons. Okay, so for the past couple of days, of course, I have been aware of this particular storyline. And I've been doing my best to avoid it, but people on social media and, of course, here in the comment section here on YouTube mentioning it all the time. What are your thoughts on this one? So to save me time going backwards and forwards, writing out this, that, and the other, I thought, you know what, let's just do a video on it. But I'm going to be careful how I do this video because yesterday YouTube released new rules and regulations, and one of them is you cannot talk about certain subjects. Now, I'm not going to be talking about this particular subject, but it's going to have to be almost insinuated to highlight the backbone of this story for big baby Jaron Miller's reasoning for failing PED test, okay? So, I'm going to be wording it a little bit different, while I'm sure, because this particular video isn't about that subject, and I'm sure um, everything will be fine, I'm just going to be absolutely sure that I'm not going to be crossing any kind of community guidelines, okay? So, anyway, I'll be wording things a little bit different, but it'll make sense, hopefully, at least, anyway. Even though I was confused myself at this point. Anyway, Big Baby Jaron Miller, a little while ago, is meant to take on Anthony Joshua for the Unified World Heavyweight Titles to mark Anthony Joshua's US and his own debut. Six, seven weeks before the fight, he fails PD test. Not one, not two, but three. Okay, as in three different substances found in his system. Now, not only did he lose out on a reported $10 million, this is according to, um, I believe that she was a co-manager of Miller at the time, Serafina, she did about $10 million, and of course even more had he defeated Joshua and he'd have got even more in the rematch, okay? So not only did he lose life-changing money, but his reputation got flushed firmly down the pan. So he's been out in the wilderness, he's been coming out with all kinds of excuses as to why potentially that they were in his system. One of them, of course, was GW1516, very, very important to remember that one as this video goes along. Now, he's out in the wilderness, he loses his reputation, nobody wants to touch him. Of course, um, his then deal with uh, DAZN and Matchroom is now obliterated, okay? So what does he do? Now, he's not officially suspended because he doesn't have a boxing license. Luckily for him, and um, from that point of view, right, he didn't have a boxing license, so he couldn't actually get suspended. But Bob Arum of Top Rank and ESPN reached out an olive branch to him. He takes it, I'm a clean fighter, I'll be doing all the fire testing and this, that and the other, I'll prove to you all that I'm clean, I'll restore my reputation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's your chance. About a week or two before the fight, that was a PD test, GW1516, according to some reports. Now, GW1516 is one of the multiple ones that was found when he was supposed to take on Anthony Joshua. So what is that people do? Automatic reaction is, well, quite clearly, you're doing the same thing. You haven't learned. You're quite clearly a cheat, blah, blah, blah. He said after this latest one that him and his team will get to the bottom of it. They'll be acting for all intents and purposes like Sherlock Holmes, okay? They're going to get to the bottom of this one and pull out the information and provide it to everybody. His latest revelation is that he's been taking pills. Not pills for performance in the boxing ring, but performance in other areas of his personal life. Him and his partner like to move wooden furniture around the bedroom. We can put it that way. So, first of all, if it's not true, it's pretty inventive. So, so we do have to give him some credit for that one. Um, but if it is true, I mean, listen, everybody has their own ailments. But personally, me, I wouldn't have come out and said, yeah, this is why I failed this PD test is because I need these pills at my age, okay? But it is what it is. I said everybody has their own ailments one way or another. So now, if it was me, definitely not. I haven't been taking these pills. I've definitely been taking PD, so um, I'm definitely a drug cheat. I wanted uh, performance and stamina and endurance, etc., in the boxing ring, not in my personal life, for to help out my partner, to help keep her, okay? That's definitely not the reason. It's because I'm a PD cheat. I personally would take it on the chin as such and take my 12 month suspension and not bring mention to these other performance enhancing pills, shall we say. But he has. Now, here's the facts of it. If it's true, and what? You still took them. You still put it into your system. Whether it was to help you, your performance in your personal life or in the boxing ring, makes no difference. When you signed up to VADA or have any kind of anti-doping testing, you are responsible for what goes into your system, whether it be in liquid form, in um, food form, whether it be in supplement form, whatever it may be, you are responsible. And if you cannot see it on the list, because VADA and UCAD and plenty of others do provide lists of what you cannot take. And if you cannot find this on the list, then you seek or ask the question to those who you got this particular pill from, whether it be your doctor, a pharmacy, 
online, whatever it may be, your team and that around you find out, okay, it's a little bit embarrassing. Yo, I need these pills. Is there something in them that, you know, I shouldn't really be taking because it can end up failing me another PED test because at the end of the day, my reputation is in tatters. The last thing in the world I need is to be failing another PED test because then my career could in fact be over. So you asked a question and you didn't. So therefore, you are guilty by association one way or another, are you not? Now, currently you've got a 12-month ban. I'm sure within the 12 months, will it be extended? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that it won't be. And as far as I'm aware, he's only banned in Las Vegas, if I remember rightly. So either way, you are responsible for taking these pills, whether it's performance in your personal life or performance in the boxing ring, whether it was to help out your social life with your partner, it is what it is. You still took the pill. Red pill, blue pill, you decide. Makes no difference, you took it. So therefore, you're gonna to have to take the suspension. You're gonna to have to take all the flack that's got, that uh, quite clearly he's gonna have now. But end of the day, it is what it is. Anyway, that's his latest revelation. That's why he failed the latest PD test. It wasn't because he's taking something to help him in the boxing ring, but to help him with his partner in his private life. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all in the next video.